so many um, we have so many activities there. Uh, and we also have online classes that's available for all our students. And due to COVID, most of our classes are currently online. So just keep in mind, if you do prefer to take your classes online, you can actually do so. Um, uh, another thing about Broward College is that, as I mentioned before, um, there are so many resources available for students to apply. So students, if you were interested in attending Broward College, and I'm going to go into the program soon, I just want you to know there are so many types of resources you can actually um, use to help pay for tuition. So as far as applying to um, Broward College, the first thing is, is that um, we always help students to apply for um, financial resources, such as FAFSA. So we have um, financial aid that's available, and normally based off of the income from your household, in the household size that will determine what you may be eligible to receive. So with financial aid, it helps cover tuition, it helps cover books, it even helps gives you, it, it also provides you funding to pay for other resources that's outside of the college. And because Cabrera College is very affordable, you can actually pay for your tuition and probably even use that money to buy a car. Or for some who may need an apartment, they can help pay their apartment. Um, and, and that's one of the great things about financial aid. We also have scholarships available. And most times we do advise students to apply for financial aid, whether they're eligible for money or not, they can use the funding um, so that they might be eligible for other scholarships. I mean, they can be eligible for other scholarships. Um, and that is in itself would be able to um, be affordable to pay for their tuitions at Broward College. <clears throat> Now, if you were interested in attending Broward College, um, because we're such a we're one we're considered as one of the best top um, community colleges um, within Broward and within the state of Florida. Um, one of the things you guys may not know is that we have so many different kinds of um, careers and different types of um, degrees that you can pursue at Broward College. We have associate's degrees, and associate's degree. Um, allows you two different options. It allows you first to either decide to take two years at Broward College and then transfer, where in which we call that the two plus two program. So you do your two years and then you transfer to a university. And um, one thing you may not know is that you're guaranteed admissions to at least one state um, within one university within the state of Florida. So that means if you were interested in going to FAU or FIU, um, schools, um, all these public universities, you are guaranteed admissions within um, within the state of Florida, of course, you're guaranteed admissions to at least one of those schools. Um, and that's after you've earned, you've earned your Associates of Arts degree. Now we have another Associates, I'm sorry, we have another Associates degree, which is called the Associates of Science degree. The Associates of Science degree is for students who may be interested in the workforce. So um, a lot of times students may be interested in just becoming an auto mechanic, or if you're interested in becoming a pilot, um, you do your two years, you do your, um, you earn your certifications as well as your pilot license. And in order to do so, of course, we do have the South Campus that actually specializes in that program. And so you'll be able to do your flight time. You'll be able to earn your certifications. You'll have firsthand experiences within the um, program so that you actually are prepared to, to take your test and actually earn your certification as well as your degree in that field of study. So you have all the resources that's available and a lot in all of our classes, we have assistance that's there that will make sure that you pass your courses so that you can be successful in that particular career that you're interested in. And um, that would be part of our Associates of Science degree program, as I mentioned, and that, again, is two years. Um, we do also offer te technical certificates as well, and a lot of our technical certificates only are about between three to 18 months long. So if you decided, you know what, I'm not really ready to, um, to start off in a two-year program, you can always start in our technical certificates. And let's just say you were interested in um, EMT, um, emergency medical technician uh, or emergency medical um, services. 
you can actually start off in the emergency technical certificate program, and that usually runs you about two semester long. Um, that's usually about five to six classes long. So you can earn your technical license, and then later on, if you decided you wanted to come back, you can continue on in that program so that you can eventually earn your associates of science degree and emergency medical services. So you can start off with the, um, the EMT, which is the emergency um, medical technician program, and then ladder into an associates in um, emergency medical services. Um, and that's just an example um, of how our technical certificates actually can continue on into an associates of science degree program. Um, and again, this is considered our workforce ready programs. Um, and because we have um, different kinds of careers you can pursue, we have this thing called pathways. And in our pathways, they break down the different types of careers that you can actually pursue so that you're not all over the place. You're not trying to figure out what's what or what industry fits in what particular career because our pathways are organized so that you can actually understand how to be able to um, pursue a career in a particular pathway and still be able to stay on track so that you can pass and actually go on into that particular career. And um, again, that's really within our technical certificates and our associates of science degree because again, they're workforce ready programs. We also offer bachelor's programs um, and our bachelor's programs, um, you do have to have an associate's degree first before you can actually pursue that but that also is available for students. And most times we have our bachelor's programs that can start off between two to four years, um, depending on how you prefer to schedule yourself. And we have credit programs and um, our credit to prior learning programs um, actually is for students who may have experiences within the military or if they have experiences um, within the industry like they like let's just say that you're an auto mechanic right now and you have your technical certificate i mean your certification you can actually use that certification in order to earn credit so that you don't have to take a bunch of classes in order to earn your associate's of science degree so those options are available um, in order to do so of course you would meet with your advisor after you've applied of course and then we will actually have you take an exam so that to see um, you are prepared in order to move forward into an associate's of science degree in a particular subject. And that's just, um, that's just an example of how quickly you can move within our, um, within our career pathways so that you're not having to start fresh <laughs> or start all over just so that you can earn your associate's degree. And as I mentioned, the different types of pathways we offer, we have about eight different types of pathways. We have art, humanities, communica communication, um, design, um, and those programs are for students who may be interested in um, graphic design or if you're interested in communication. So if you're into the artsy realm, so that particular pathway is for, is for students who are interested in that career. So we have um, pathways that um, focuses on particular careers so that you can actually be able to go on into that industry after you've earned your associate's degree. We also have business. So students who may be interested in business analytics or business administration, these are our two-year programs. Also, we have associates of science and uh, associates, um, associates of science, we have the associates of arts degree. And each of those um, degree programs lead into different pathways, of course, because one particular pathway would lead you into transferring to a university, which is the Associates of Arts degree. And then the other degree program, which is the Associates of Science, is the Workforce Ready. So if you were interested in business administration, or if you want to be, um, if you want to own your own business, that particular pathway um, would fall into the Associates of Science degree program. And again, um, with these pathways, um, with these, with these um, um, degree programs, they allow you to um, earn technical certificates as well as um, um, different types of industry certifications. So it makes you more marketable when you are pursuing these um, jobs or if you wanted to start your own business, you can actually do so as well. 
Um, we also have legal aid that falls under business. So if any students who might be interested in becoming uh, or starting fresh or starting like from the entry level as a legal aid, you can actually um, go into our business in legal aid. And again, you would do your two years at Broward and then you would start in that in working in that industry um, after you've earned your associate's of science degree. We also have the social behavior sciences, human services. So if you're interested in psychology or social work, um, if you're interested in um, social behavior sciences, these programs allow you to, of course, earn your associate's degree. But because these industries are so demanding, you do have to go on into your master's, um, your bachelor's and then your master's. So you will eventually have to transfer to a university so that you might be able to, um, to be able to practice in that field of study. We also have the health science program, which is one of our grandest programs out there because our medical services are so needed and not that any other industries are, I'm not knocking any other um, careers, but as far as our medical services is so important and we prepare our students um, very, very strategically so that um, they can be ready in that industry as far as like becoming a nurse or if you wanted to do emergency medical services, um, if you wanted to also specialize in um, physical therapist assistance, these programs are considered um, health science programs. And because they're so, um, because they're, they're in the medical field, they are considered as limited access programs. So there are prerequisites and where in which you would take additional classes before you can actually apply into this program. And once they see that you have the right grades and that you are understanding of how to um, conduct yourself in, 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 in the medical field or you understand, like for instance, you'll take anatomy classes and you understand how the physical body works and everything, then you would be able to have the chance to apply. If you are selected, then you will start um, being you will start being trained in that program so that you will have firsthand experiences within the hospitals and um, learn how to be able to um, become a nurse. And um, of course, you would have to take the practice exam. And once you take your practice exam, you can be prepared for the actual state exam, and then you can actually earn your license. Of course, that field of study is a little bit more, um, they require you to do a little bit more in order to, to pursue that, um, that career, but it is definitely worth it because they do allow you internship opportunities and scholarship opportunities as well. We also have industry manufacturing, construction, transportation. And as I mentioned before, if you're interested in aviation or if you wanted to like becoming a pilot, or if you were interested in um, auto mechanic, these industry, or even construction technology, um, these industries, these careers allow you to earn your associate's of science degree. And you can actually start off in a technical program. And a technical program, as I mentioned before, is only between three to 18 months long. And then eventually earning your associate's of science degree, which is only a couple of classes over. So it would be about two years. We have public safety, which is our next um, pathway. So if you're interested in criminal justice, um, if you wanted to become a police officer, we do have those programs available for our students. Any students who might be interested in IT, engineering, um, if you wanted to do mathematics, all of these programs fall under our STEM program. And again, we have our associate's degree that eventually ladder into, an, um, into our bachelor's program. So these programs do allow you to go into the industry and start working or to transfer into a bachelor's program. Um, and then we also have education. So if any students who might be interested in our education program, um, we have the associates, we have bachelor's degrees available for our students. And also most of our programs, all of our pathways, I would say, do allow you to earn um, scholarships as well as internship opportunities. And, and once, one of the things that's also great about our programs is that we have our career pathways where in which our career pathways um, does um, align you with that particular career so that you can actually work in that industry. Um, 
So with all that information, I know this, um, it's a lot <laughs> of information I did share, but if any students who might be interested in attending Broward College, we have advisors available and myself, I am a recruiter, so I will definitely help you through the process. So one of the first steps you will do to apply to Broward College is just completing the application. And then from there on, you're going to get connected with a career coach, I mean, uh, with a um, student success coach. And your student success coach will be able to guide you as far as the admission process. So that means they'll make sure that you provide your residency information. They'll make sure that you actually um, attend the orientation and so that you can register for your classes. So we want to make sure that you actually understand what you're doing so that before you can start taking classes you have all your documentations in place so again the first thing is you're applying to Broward college um, also advise you to apply for financial aid for for tuition assistance also providing your residency information so that you are charged in state fees um, we always advise you to check your email because that is how we communicate with all of our students and um, review, once you apply, I will say that the first thing is, is that you are going to be accepted for our college. All we need is your high school diploma or GED in order to be eligible to um, be considered a student. Um, and, and from there on, you are already enrolled at Broward College. So with that further ado, I will transition into the career pathway um, within our career coaches because they are going to be able to provide us with ample information about what kind of careers we can look into um, once you've earned your degree at Broward College. Daisy? Thank you. Everybody can hear me? Yes? Yes. All right, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm so happy uh, just to get to see all these wonderful students and they're, that they're also interested in their future. So I'm Daisy Casas, I'm the career coach at North Campus, and I'm here just in case you don't know what career to do. Um, one of the first things that we will do and we will use um, will be something called uh, the career coaching test. And it's also to figure it out what's your type of personality, um, you know, skills, values, that combination of, of, of who you are. Uh, we believe that who you are can also match up a career that gives you fulfillment, right? So um, I do have um, a link that I'm gonna share with you and I would like you to take a quick test, okay? Cause I also wanna make this a little bit more interactive um, and I wanna get to see, um, you know, some of our students and, you know, them taking a quick test is a six question test. Um, and then I'm gonna share my screen so you know how it looks like. So bear with me. OK, so I'm hoping you're able to see this one. OK, this is called Welcome to Career Coach, right? And we will take a career assessment test. All right. Um, what I would like you to do, you know, to start with, we have a 60 questions or a six questions. So we're gonna do a quick start, okay, all of us. So we're just gonna take a, a test. So I'm just gonna copy this link and put it in your, um, in the Teams uh, conversation. So you're able to take the, the test, okay? So give me one second. And I'm really hoping everybody's able to see it. And everybody should be have access, direct access to that site. If you don't, please let me know. So if everyone has access, um, I would like you to take that career assessment test. Um, and it will provide, you know, you with good information, okay? So it will look something like this. You can start your six questions and do it on your own, 
Okay, this will be just more tailored to your, um, you know, your personality. So just answer as honest you can. And then once we're done, you will receive um, a combination of results, okay? And we will go through all of them, okay? So you know what type of personality you have and what type of careers you can do. So we're gonna spend probably three to four minutes for you to complete these. If you have any questions, please type it on our chat, on our meeting chat. Wonderful. Just gonna give a few more minutes. Wonderful, I see you guys responding. Thank you. Keep those results with you. See a lot of social, investigative. All right, we will do a quick review of all our personalities. So you will see that some of you are highly social, investigative, artistic. All right, is everybody done? Way to go. Yeah, at the bottom of your results, you will have career options, okay? So, okay, let's get started. Hopefully everybody's done with their results. It will look something like this, right? Daisy, if they're not done, can they keep working on it? Yes. Are, are they done? They're still working on it? Maybe. Okay. I would like everyone to have the results before I can continue. No, no. Keep going. I'm, think, I'm thinking. Oh, keep going. Keep going. Okay. Oh, we're still doing it. All right. So um, you will see the results. As you see here, that I was going to show you, there is these types of personalities. Okay, um, six types, and then you are three of them. Okay, the results that you receive are called the Holland Code. Okay, so the Holland Code. Let's say that I see some of the here in our chat. Uh, one is uh, social, artistic, investigative, and realistic. Okay, um, so I see here that probably you don't know, you know, you are artistic, right? Social, investigative, A S I. That will be your whole encode. Okay. So each of these ones, let's let's start with the realistic. Okay. These realistic people who have uh, athletic or mechanical ability, they prefer to work with objects, machines, tools, plants, or animals, and they like to be outdoors. Right. They're very they're thinking oriented. They type of careers that they could do will be management. Right. Building and construction. Uh, automotive, mechanical, right? So some of those career paths that they can do. Um, if you're inclined to do something um, health-wise, you can become a physical therapist, which you use your hands, okay? So those are the realistic. So if your first letter is R, then you are highly realistic, okay? 
Now, the investigative ones are the thinkers. Those are people who like to observe, learn, investigate, analyze, evaluate, solve problems. You like to explore a variety of ideas. You like to use computers. You like to work independently, uh, perform lab, lab experiments. You like to read scientific technical journals, analyze data. So if is that you, then you can become a biologist, right? Uh, you could probably do some pharmacy. You can become a veterinarian, uh, an economist, a dental hygienist, if you like health science, uh, radiologist, and anything that is related to the science. Um, some of the things that you could do at Broward College, you, you can do your associate in science and nursing. You can do your nursing, right? Or physical therapy also. Um, you can also do your AA and just transfer and you know become a biologist, right? If you have S, it's for socials. So social is their helpers, and they like to work with people. They like to help. They like to inform. Do you like to work in groups? Do you like to help with problems? You know, uh, fixing problems. Uh, do you like to participate in meetings? Do volunteer work? You, you like to work with young people, with any type of people. You just like to serve other people. So these type of people, if you're highly social, you can be a social worker, a school counselor, uh, a teacher, professor. You can become a massage therapist if you like health sciences, an elementary or secondary school teacher, a librarian, um, a medical assistant. You can you can work within hospitality and tourism if you like the business side of it. You can do a lot of sports, fitness, recreation, human resources if you like the business area. Um, so there's plenty of things that you could do as social. Uh, usual people usually people will go for business management degrees, um, supervision, hospitality, um, education, public safety. Also, it's part of this type of degree. Okay. Now, if you are enterprise, okay, the ones that are decision makers. So you are, you like to work with people, you like to influence and persuade, right? You are the influencer. Uh, you like to lead in and manage organizations. You like to make decisions. Uh, you like leadership, you like sales. Um, so for these type of careers, you definitely can do something at related to accounting, business related, uh, management, analytics, real estate, uh, food and beverage manager, marketing, uh, travel agent, accountant, like there's so many things with, within the business pathway and that's one of the largest pathways that we have, the business. If you are artistic, so our artistic ones are creators. You have artistic in no you're in innovative, right? Uh, you like to use your abilities uh, to work uh, with people and you like to use your imagination and creativity. You like to attend to concerts, theaters, um, art exhibits. Um, you like to plays, poetry, work with crafts, take photography, express yourself in a very creative way. So for this type of uh, you know, artistic people, highly artistic. You can do something like graphic design, technology, media, journalism, uh, performing arts like drama and music, singing, uh, photography, public relations and radio, television and production. Uh, for, for Broward College, we have a lot of the degrees, you know, related to our arts. Uh, you can follow our associate in arts degree. You can do a technical certification in audio technology and associate in science in music and technology, graphic design, film. And if you are towards the, uh, you know, the side of the business, you can also do a bachelor's in science and business supervision and management. It takes a lot of a creativity. And our last one will be your conventional. These are the organizers, people who like to work with data. Um, they have clerical and numerical ability. They carry out tasks. If you like list and you like to do all your things within your list and and those those you highly conventional, you're highly organized. Uh, you like to carry out tasks in detail to follow uh, through other people. You like instructions. Uh, you clearly define procedures. You use data processing equipment, work with numbers, take notes. You're responsible with details. You collect and organize things. So for these type of uh, personality, the careers that will follow that that will be good will be good keeping 
accounting, uh, financial analyst, air traffic controller, customer service, hotel resort management, pharmacy. Uh, you can become a medical transcriptionist, a medical records, uh, legal and medical secretary, computer information system, medical records. So those are some of the uh, programs that you can do. At Broward College, you can do um, you can do STEM, uh, the STEM majors. Uh, you can do computer information technology, uh, health science information management. Excuse me for all this. Um, <laughs> keep coming. <laughs> it keeps coming. All right. All right. So I'm almost done. Um, so if you are convention, if you're highly organized, you can do legal assistant, you can become a paralegal, you can do aviation. So this is something to help you, to motivate you. OK, uh, this type of, uh, you know, combination of personality. Now you kind of have an idea since you did the test um, of the type of personality that, um, you know, that you that you are um, and some of the careers that will follow that. OK, and it's OK not to know. Sometimes it's too early to know. Some of you already have an idea that says, OK, now it's confirming what I like to do or would like to be. Um, we're here, Broward College is here to help you transition, even if you're not sure. Uh, there is uh, career coaches in all of our campuses. Uh, we have South and Central Campus. I do North Campus and, and virtual students. So if you don't know, we still have different tools uh, for you to figure out what is it that you would like to do? How much money you will we make? What's the job outlook in that, in that career? Uh, Wendy mentioned one of our uh, careers that a lot of our students go and is, uh, you know, like human services, like taking psychology classes or becoming a social work. For some careers like that, you definitely need to, you know, escalate your education. You cannot just have a bachelor's degree. You will probably have to go for a master's or a doctor's level because competition is there. Um, so we will figure that out as you transition, as you pick a career. It's OK not to know, but it will be good that you have an idea what you would like to do. And we are a team of professionals that are here to help you and guide you through the process of picking your career um, and helping you and encouraging you. There's times that it's going to be hard, it's going to be difficult. There's times that can be confusing, um, but we're here to help and we're here to provide you the tools for you to succeed. And that's our main goal uh, for you to, to have a career to become you know, someone, a lot of our students, well, a big percentage of our students are first college students. Their family members never went to school. They never finished college, but you have this opportunity. So I do want to encourage you that uh, if you're still not sure, uh, you know, not even what career to pursue, but just to think about coming to our college, you know, it, it, we will, uh, you know, we'll, we'll welcome you with open arms and, and help you and facilitate everything for you. Uh, so I'm done for now. If you have any questions, uh, Wendy, or um, yeah, so if you have any questions, you guys are um, welcome to ask us. Or I guess we can have John facilitate how we're going to do that. The students can uh, uh, unmute and and uh, and ask a question audibly, or they you guys can write uh, in the in the meeting chat your questions. Um, I had a question, and that is, can they save the results of that survey? Um, it will be good that they take a picture or a or a screenshot, because uh, as soon as you are out of the you know the the site, it will erase it. Like you you know you will probably have to do it again. OK, did everybody hear that? Because I, I thought it was really uh, informative, you know, to have that kind of result and uh, and worth, keep, worth keeping. So yeah, it's beautiful. It's custom made. It's you in there on reading yourself. Uh, pay attention to those cues. Mostly the first one that comes out. If you're highly social, then look at careers that are highly social. There's a lot of them. Um, but yeah, keep that in mind. It will help you. Also, for students who weren't here today, can they a copy of that link and use it later? Yes, yes. 
Okay, teachers, I was that was for you. I just wanted to make sure that you uh, you took advantage of that and uh, and copied that link so that uh, if there are students that uh, weren't here today that you know you want to do this uh, with them in their class in your classes. Um, that that link uh, is is a valuable one for you. <laughs> okay, are you looking in the chat room? <laughs> so Dondre said, this is a long, great speech. Keep talking. Don't stop. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. Um, I do want to show our teachers and our students, uh, just taking advantage of time, um, how to get this information from our Broward College site, just in case, because I know the, um, the link is pretty long. Um, so I'm just going to share with you. I know these has been recorded, so um, so if you go to Broward.edu, this is our site. OK, we can go under students. And then we're just going to scroll down. You are right now in the career services. Uh, this is the department that I that I am a uh, career coach. OK, uh, this is some of the things that Wendy also mentioned. Uh, you know, our internship referrals, resume, mock interviews. So we really want to help our students all the way. If they don't know how to do a resume, how to do an interview once they're done with their AA or even their AS degree uh, or any type of degree, we're here to help. We have a combination, uh, you know, of teams that are able to help you and help you get a, a job. We're not a job agency. Uh, but we will help you and prepare you for the, for so. So this is right here, the career coach tool that we use uh, for our students. Once you register, um, you will have direct access to a different type of career test, and it's a lot in detail. This one is a five uh, question, five test uh, within one, and it's a lot. It's more in detail and more specific. It will give me the same results as the career coach. Uh, but it's a, it's a little bit more detail and more questions. Uh, our students, once they register and become a student, they're able to use this tool. It's called Virtual Job Shadow. So if you don't know how a career looks like, uh, what nurses do, um, you can use this tool and figure it out. OK, well, this is what a civil engineer does. And it's a three to five minute videos, uh, a short Q&A, uh, which has really, really good information. Um, in order to use these tools, you have to become a student uh, because the companies that use this uses the uh, student's email for them to get in. If you don't have it, then you will be charged, uh, you know, by by the virtual shadow company. So that's why, uh, you know, it's these are some of the tools that you will have once you become a student. Um, so as I was telling, uh, you know, our students in our our professors here, career coach. Uh, once you click on the link, it will take you directly to to the coach career coach site. And then what you will do is you take your assessment test. OK. Um, and you have this six question or the 60 questions, which is a little bit more detail. So I invite all of our students uh, copy this link, put it in your browser, take the 60 questions, you know, uh, Take the 60 questions and then, you know, answer all of them. It will give you, uh, you know, those careers right here. You can investigate them. You can look into it. OK, well, how much money does, you know, this, uh, you know, becoming an educational administrator makes? And what do I need right here? It tells you how much education you will need. So it's a really, really wonderful tool that any student can use. OK, I'm going back to questions. OK, so we have. <laughs> so you're artistic and social. That's factual, but it also said investigative. OK, well, sometimes it picks up a little bit of information. Um, of a personality trait, it doesn't mean that that's you're highly investigative for for Raul. Um, so it, it means that you you will probably have a little bit of investigative, 
and it'll probably be a skill that you would like to develop while you're in college. So if it's there, um, you know, use it for, for your advantage, okay? There must be questions that you answer that were investigative too. But if you are artistic and social, those are your high uh, personality traits, okay? How long does the admission process uh, takes once application is submitted? So it could take usually between three to five days. Um, it all depends on how persistent you are. So you have to make sure that after you complete the application, you submit your residency information. So that's like two documents that we need in order to prove that you've lived in the state of Florida for at least um, 12 months. And if you live with parents, that means you're under 24 um, or you have no children that you support, then you are considered dependent. So we would actually need your parents' information in order for them to claim your residency. Once you submit residency, of course, you're um, you're going to be assigned to an academic coach. So they will reach out to you through your email, or you can actually join our QList line, which is available on our BC website in order for you to actually meet with a counselor and then register for your classes. Well, actually do your orientation, schedule for orientation, and then, um, and then be able to register for your classes. But it all depends on when you're planning to start. So if you're planning to start in the summer, if you're planning to start in the fall, of course, that time period is going to be um, the admission process will be completed, but you won't be able to register until open registration periods um, begin, which won't be until like April. That's for summer or fall. Do we have any other questions? This is the best time to ask for any questions you may have, applying, programs, careers. Students, did you did you get an answer to your own question? What is your specific interest? And if, if they didn't talk about it, now's the time to let them know, I'm interested in this. What about this? Any questions along those lines, students? Ladies, I sent your titles and, and, and uh, phone numbers and email addresses to Ms. Barber at the school. Uh, uh, thought she might want to circulate uh, those, your contact information to the staff uh, uh, so that, uh, you know, some questions hopefully would come up. Oh, here's, here's some other questions, Wendy. How much does financial aid cover and what are the requirements? So financial aid is determined based off of your eligibility. So when you apply for financial aid, of course you will need, if you're dependent, you're gonna need your parents' tax information that's going to determine the eligibility as far as like how much money you may receive. So um, once they once you decide once you figure out what you're going to be eligible for, you submit the application. They'll be able to provide you with the um, amount that you're going to receive for that school year, and then that's going to transfer to the school that you selected. So if you decided Broward College was one of the schools you listed, Broward College will be able to be able um, to distribute the fundings towards your tuition. And normally, if you're fully eligible for financial aid, it will cover your tuition as well as your books. So all your fees will be covered. And again, that's based off of what you're eligible to receive. And I'm just going based off of students who may be fully eligible. Tuition and books are normally the number one thing that's covered. And then if there's anything left over, they'll send you a refund check. And that's why I said with that, Students will usually have the ability to um, use the fundings to pay for housing. Um, of course, we don't have housing at the campus. However, we do have apartments available around the campuses um, and you can actually rent out a room with the student or you can get your own place or if you needed to buy a car, um, you can actually do so. Can you detail how financial aid works? So after you apply, um, with financial aid, they give you different types of um, 
grants that may be eligible to you. So you have the financial aid Pell Grant, which is the number one grant that most schools look forward to because that's basically all grants, you do not need to pay that back. Any kind of grants you receive, you don't pay back. Um, there's also scholarship opportunities that may be available and usually the schools are usually the ones to distribute that funding. Um, and sometimes at most occasions, they do ask for you to have a financial aid on file, application on file. And then there's also work study. So students who may decide they need a, need a job, but because they're taking classes on, cam on campus, of course, you don't want to have to work a full a full time schedule. So that's why we allow students to have the opportunity to work on the campuses so they can work 25 hours, earn between 10 to 15 bucks an hour, and then still be able to receive financial aid grants and scholarships. But on top of that, they'll also receive a paycheck through financial aid um, when that paycheck is is, of course, you working your 25 hours a week. And then also there are loans. Of course, we try to have students avoid loans. So unless you need it, and because again, as I mentioned, Broward College is very affordable. So if you're fully eligible for the Pell Grant, normally you wouldn't even have to take out student loans at all, um, especially because we give out so many scholarships as well. Um, you wouldn't even have to look into the scholarships until you're actually pursuing your master's or even your bachelor's degree if you decide to go out of state or if you go to any other universities. So uh, next question I see here is. What, what all the staff? What does financial aid do? I think I answered that question as far as covering tuition. Right. Um, the last one. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't. The oh, last no. one. Oh, how does your GPA have to do? Yeah. Like, how does GPA have to be to get into college that you want? Okay. Um, with Broward College, we go based off of whether or not you have your high school diploma. So you have to have your standardized high school diploma, or you have to have a GED in order to be um, considered a student at Broward College. So you can apply with your GED or you're with your high school diploma. Um, and if you are planning to go to a university, of course, um, most universities have different criteria to what your GPA needs to be in order to be um, to to be a student there. GED, well, that's basically another um, that's another equivalent to um, receiving a high school diploma. So it's just another degree that you will receive. Um, just showing that you just showing that you actually have um, met all your requirements as a high school student, but the only difference is, is that you can actually speed up the process faster rather than actually earning your high school diploma. Um, and for some students, they may have jobs or other responsibilities, so they actually um, may, may decide to do their GED um, in, before having to go through the whole process of getting their high school diploma. How long can students to get accepted? Oh, how low can students GPA be to be accepted? Um, again, as I mentioned, as long as you have your high school diploma or your, um, your GED, that alone will be able to allow you to apply to Broward College. Um, just keep in mind uh, with high school students, they are, Let's just say that if you had to take a test to, in order for you to take your college classes, if you had to take a test, we do have the um, placement tests available for students in order to take. And once you take a placement test, that will determine if whether or not you have to take any lower level classes before um, taking college level classes, if that helps. Do I have any other questions?
Here's another question. What different? Yeah. That's from one of our teachers. What differentiates this college? So from I would probably say, um, as far as cost of tuition, um, that's number one because our tuition right now is about one hundred seventeen dollars and ninety cents per credit hour. So for students who may not know um, any schools that you attend, you have to pay per credit hour. So to um, right now, for our college is considered the lowest cost of tuition per credits, of course. Um, so right now, if you were pursuing your associate's degree for two years, you would be looking at about $7,000, roughly a little bit over $7,000 towards your tuition. Um, and compare that to most other schools, your basically your tuition will be a lot cheaper um, compare, in comparison to all the, all the other schools out there. Um, of course, we are also, um, any schools that you decide to transfer to, you're guaranteed admissions. So if you wanted to go to FAU, FIU, um, if you wanted to go FAMU, any of those schools, um, our state, our public universities will guarantee you admissions into the school. Um, also, it is local. And um, so for students who may decide they want to just go right up the road, didn't want, they don't want to leave their um, their their locations they they have the opportunity to do um, their classes at any of our campuses also our classroom sizes are a lot smaller and um, that's one of the ratings that the highest ratings we all we always get from our students who actually attend a university because once you attend a university um, the classroom sizes are so much different you're looking at like literally an auditorium and not to knock it but you get that personal experiences with your professors that you normally wouldn't be able to get if you are at a um, if you're at a um, university. Do you have to pay to go to college? Yes. So any schools that you are attending, you do have to pay. But again, um, because we're affordable, you can actually apply for finan financial aid. Um, if you prefer to pay out of pocket, you can. But again, um, we're pretty affordable. So one class that's worth three credits, you're looking at about $353. So it's pretty affordable compare, in comparison to other schools. Um, and because we do have financial aid available, scholarship opportunities available, um, grants available, that's even outside of the college, you can actually earn those things to help pay for your tuition and probably even still have money back um, left over for your pockets. Um, I didn't fully um, actually disclaim what GED was um, at, at, at the full acronym for GED. <laughs> and I wanted to look this up only because I wanted to make sure I was correct. It was graduate equivalency, um, equivalency um, degree. So again, it is equivalent to a high school diploma. So that's why we accept those rather than um, any other degrees or just a certificate of completion. Um, are there any courses on metaphysics? Um, there, no, there are physics courses. However, most of these courses, um, you may end up having to transfer to a university. But what students do, um, for instance, if you're interested in physics or if you're interested in uh, biology, um, if you wanted to be a scientist, any of those programs, you will eventually have to transfer. So. We always start students who want to transfer off with their associates of arts degree program, and then you transfer to the university where in which you can um, you can actually focus on that specialization. Yes, that is correct. Any questions? Any more questions, guys? These are great questions. So um, that's a great question. How would you describe the college culture? I will honestly say that it is a lot more liberating. Um, you have the opportunity to be more expressive, to explore different options. And one of the great things I will honestly say that I enjoyed, I mean, 
way back when <laughs> um, is the fact that you're not you're not stuck on just one thing. Like when you're in high school and nothing nothing against high schools or anything like that, you're you're required to be a certain way or to live up to a certain expectation. Um, with college, you have the opportunity to explore different options. You get the op get the opportunity to even network with different people or even be part of different social clubs. And it really helps um, it helps build you up and in and guides you in a different direction that you're normally not accustomed to. So it provides you with, I would say, with a true sense of what real life can be like if you decide to explore those different options. So there's so many opportunities that's available for students. Um, and depending on who you meet or who you're around, it helps, um, it can help you advance in a way that you've never probably experienced within your own environment. Um, required GPA. Okay, as I mentioned, um, for GPA, we we go based off of your um, we go based off of whether or not you have a high school diploma or your GED. And as as I mentioned before, um, if once they review your transcripts, they see that you may need to take a placement test, you will take your placement test, and that will determine if whether or not you're ready to take college level courses. If not, you will have the opportunity to take lower level classes until you can actually begin to understand how to um, pass your college level classes and then eventually start taking college level courses. So GED and high school diploma is really the requirements in order to apply to BC. How do you know, how do you know so much? <laughs> I've been at the college for a very long time, guys, and I actually, from my own personal experiences, I started off at Broward College. I honestly didn't have any direction. I didn't know what I was doing, nor did I have the money to pay for college. So I had the opportunity to actually explore and, and just visit the college. And from there on, I got assistance with applying to Broward um, to finance, for financial aid, where in which it helped pay for my tuition. I got the experience of being a work study student which was really great because I got to um, network and I got to basically develop as a as a young adult and um, and I started working there from there on and it's really taught me so much from working different departments and um, so that's how I learned and know <laughs> so thanks for your question though. <laughs> Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, thank you, thank you, presenters. Thank you, everyone, for your questions. Um, it is 11 o'clock now, so we're going to wrap things up. Um, if we have further questions, is it okay if we, we reach out to you uh, yeah. through email? Okay, okay, great, great, great. Okay, so uh, Mr. Cosborough, was it anything else that you would like to say? No, thank you, uh, 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 Ms. Jackson and, and Cypress Run for hosting this today. Uh, yeah, I was going to answer your question too, that uh, I uh, forwarded their contact information to Ms. Barbara, okay. thought that the staff might want to have that. Uh, yes. Questions come up, so uh, we hope this is a uh, uh, an ongoing, uh, 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 hugely beneficial relationship with Broward College and Cypress Run Education Center. Okay. Yes, so if you guys wanted to apply, you guys can always reach out to me and I'll help you with that process. Okay. Awesome. Great okay. Job. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>